welcome to FIFA Save My Live. Thank you very much for joining me today on this day uh, that we thought we would be getting Vincius Jr. Yes, we thought we would get Vincius Jr. Uh, the uh, player of the month. It looks like he's won it. Uh, it seems like he's won it. Everybody's saying that he's won it. And uh, yeah, it hasn't been released. I was uh, a bit shocked. Uh, but... But we do have what we thought would happen. We had the leaked uh, SBC come out today. Uh, we haven't had anything else, but we definitely had our leaked SBC coming out. And we're going to have a player overview. I might even do it. Uh, I am, I'm kind of convincing myself. I can't, as you can see, I've got my team up. I was actually looking at my team, kind of trying to work out if I could fit him in my team. Uh, I don't think I can, but I could have him as a bit of a bench warmer. But then I've also got likes of Fellaini and stuff but we'll go through that in a minute uh, guys before we start make sure you hit that like and subscribe it would mean a lot to me but also uh, I give some money to charity I give some money to OTR off the record off the record are a, a mental health charity that help 11 to 25 year olds uh, they do some amazing work within the community for that age group uh, come up with some unique ideas the link is down below for them if you want to have a quick squiz at them but to give money to them, all you have to do is hit a like and a subscribe. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, watch the video and I get to give money on your behalf to that very worthy charity. So yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. It's Christmas. Uh, hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Go on. Let me see that little counter rise. Thanks to you. Thank you very much. Right, let's move on. Right, so we're going to have a look at him. We're going to do a player overview. Uh, so the player overview is obviously Etienne Caputi. Uh, so yeah, there he is. He, he, he was leaked yesterday. We know it's coming out. I wish they would stop leaking it. I'm going to say this now. I wish they would stop leaking these cards because it's not a nice surprise when you see them. You're kind of a 24 hours in advance of it. It gets a little bit boring. Uh, I would like it just to be a surprise. You can't help but see it because you're on Twitter, you're conversing with people, you're doing things, and it just comes up. So you can't kind of hide from it, you can't not look at it. Uh, there's no spoilers alert uh, or anything like that, but it just comes up. So yeah, it's a bit of a ball lake. Uh, stop it. Uh, right, let's have a look at how much he is. He's actually fairly cheap. Uh, I had a quick look. I was deciding whether to start doing him and that, and I thought, no, I'm going to do a, a video on him. I'm going to do a player overview, and at the same time, I might just convince myself to do him so then I could do a video of the actual player review of him. Uh, so then we, uh, there we go. So we got an 83 with a French player and a team of the week. We got an 84 with the team of the week and a La Liga player. So very easy, very cheap. Uh, the only thing that makes it a little bit more expensive is obviously two team of the weeks. But two team of the weeks at the moment, 10, 12 grand at the very most. And we've all got hundreds thanks to the fact that we probably did a million of them during uh, uh, Black Friday. And we got lots uh, in our club. So yeah, guys, it's fairly cheap. I don't think he's massively expensive. Uh, I would probably say in the 80 grand region for an 87 rated player, uh, very reasonable. Let's have a look at his Staturuni, shall we? Well, he's six foot three, so he's gonna be nice and big. So you're gonna have the old uh, Vieira style on him. He is gonna be nice and big. He's got medium, medium. That's a bit of a negative on there. And also that three star, three star as well. Uh, so we've got a big guy, six foot, three that's great he's french as well so you've got nice easy links uh, who isn't french uh, if you've got yourself a fakir there you go if you've got yourself a flashback benzema there you go uh, if you've got yourself you know your, your normals uh, your, your st maxes your dembele's uh, all these lot that uh, there is a million french guys out there for you so yeah you can link them nice and easily especially in midfield you've obviously got your kimbembe's behind you and things like that nice and easy the amount of times i've seen i'm actually seeing full french teams at the moment at because ea have clearly this season uh, apps or in the last two seasons really absolutely uh worship the french players and quite rightly so there are some amazing french players you've been uh, ben Yedders and people like that obviously clearly mbappe but uh yeah they, they they brought out some amazing french cards and this could be another one of them but we're saying medium medium mm, uh 
can live with it, but three star, three star is a little bit. But he is six foot three, he is a midfield general, so he's going to be kind of your Hullet gang uh, by the looks of it. So let's have a look. So let's have a look at the core pro, uh, the, the core stats: seventy six pace, eighty one shooting, eighty five dribbling, uh, eighty five passing, eighty four dribbling, eighty six defending, eighty five physical. That is pretty much Hullet gang. He is a couple off being Hullet gang there, guys. Uh, but the pace is slow. Uh, I'm going to say that now: seventy nine acceleration, seventy four sprint speed is okay but slow so you're gonna have to add something to him uh, to make sure whether it's uh you know uh, uh, um you know uh, um shadow or something like that or whether you go for the lightning one whatever that is uh so yeah whether you uh, it, but the really it's got to be imperative that the pace goes up because the other stats are so good uh that you can kind of get away with it and it depends where you're going to play him if you're going to play him as a box to box or whether you're going to play him as a holding midfielder i personally would play him as a holding midfielder i think he'd be a really good holding midfielder uh with that little pace increase but if you get him in the box, he can shoot because he's got 81 shooting, he's got 88 attack possession, 79 finishing, 87 shot power, 83 long shots. It looks great. It looks really good, especially if you are going to go the box to box route. Uh, his passing is a beautiful. He's got 87 vision, which is nice for those over over the top balls. He's got 90 short passing and 88 long passing. And I know he's got a trait of long passer as well and long shot taker, but long passer, which was really going to help with those over the top balls, which are OP this year and we're all doing it don't pretend you're not uh we've got dribbling there at 84 we've got 80 agility 80 balance he's six foot three he's gonna feel a little bit like that but then so does Vieira and hullet and all the rest of it they're just special cards and feel a bit sexier this is gonna be your tesco's budget version uh but 88 reactions nice 87 ball control 84 dribbling and 80 composure Pose is a little bit low, but the rest of it very, very nice. 86 defending is his highest stat, only just, but his highest stat uh, with two other 85s there with passing and physical. Uh, but 86, you got 92 interceptions. That's amazing. That's mega. That is. Uh, got 78 heading. Well, he is six foot two, three, so again that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, 85 defensive awareness, uh, which is really nice. 87 stand tackle and 83 slide tackle. Those are great stats. And again, if you're adding that shadow, you get that plus 10 on both the pace and the defending there guys in certain stats so that is probably if you i would use him as a holding midfielder who can pass the ball out and it's going to be very nice uh, very nice and physical uh so that's what i would do but you might want to do something different uh we've got 81 jumping which is fine because he's six foot three still good jumping to be fair 86 stamina should just about last all game at uh, 87 strength and 81 aggression that is two very nice stats and as i alluded to earlier on you got a long passer and short uh, long shot card taker uh guys it's a really good card really good card I'm not going to say it's over the moon card. But yeah, talking about 80 grand, maybe, maybe 90, uh, something like that. He is massively expensive. Uh, he is from a good league. He's obviously from La Liga. Uh, he's obviously Villarreal. He's French. There is so many links that you've got to this guy. Uh, probably not so much with club wise, but French wise, you've got a million billion different links. Uh, so you can't see that you can't fit him in the team unless you're me uh, and I've got a weird team at the moment. Uh, but yeah, uh, and to be fair, I'm doing well with it. So I'm kind of trying not to change it. But this guy could be the reason I want to change it. Uh, he is a very, very good uh, as a holding midfielder. Box to box could really do well. Uh, he's got great finishing. Uh, he's got good short passing, long passing. Uh, he's got amazing uh, uh, ball control and, and stuff like that. So again, he's okay with that. He's not, His reactions are high. His defending is decent. So if you're defending from the front, he's going to be in there. Uh, and again, he's got amazing strength. He's a decent box to box. I would personally, if you want to take my advice, uh, and who am I to give advice out, uh, but if you want to take my advice, I would personally have him as a holding midfielder. That would probably do an awful lot better for you uh, with the little added bonuses that if you get him in the area, uh, corners, etc. He's got a chance of scoring with his head, with his feet. Uh, he's got decent passing. Uh, I really like the idea of having him as a holding midfielder. I'm kind of talking myself into it, aren't I? Uh, right, there you go, guys. That is my player overview of uh, this particular card. I think it's nice. Uh, I don't think it's, it's super fantastic and everybody's going to go mental for it. Uh, but I think it's really nice uh, and it's a decent card. And it's someone we haven't really had before as well. Uh, and I like when we have 
unique cards that we don't just keep churning out the same card so well done ea it's not a bad card uh thank you very much guys for watching as always uh take care of yourself and if you can find someone you can bye bye